Uh, congratulations. Can you talk about the importance of picking up a win right off the bat like this at an event like this? Um, yeah, I think that always getting off on the right start is, is important. It gives you confidence going into the next game. We have a big day today, so it's nice to finish out strong. Charlie, can you talk about the tone and the pace that was set in this game and how you guys maintain that? Yeah, I think that we had a really, really strong start. Uh, we made a lot of shots early and we got a few misses out of them. So uh, we just kind of had to maintain that throughout the game and it's, it worked out for us in the end. You two are pioneers at this sport, playing it before it was even an Olympic sport. Uh, how does it feel to be here right now and seeing what this discipline has really turned into? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really important to us um, and to see it develop into an Olympic sport is really cool and we just want to, uh, you know, play our best and hope for the best. <laughs> How does it feel to see the, the competition now that's, that's uh, in it now? It's, has you, would you say it's amped up since uh, the Olympic Olympics? Oh, big time. I mean, you take a look at both of the pools. There's no free spaces on there. Uh, every game is going to be hard and you know that if you have, you know, a subpar game, any team can beat you out there. So really tough competition. Uh, congratulations, you guys. Can you talk about the importance of getting off to a, a great start like this? Obviously, yeah, really important to get the get the first win under your belt. Um, it's such a good field. You never know when you're going to get at your Ws. So uh, we're confident that uh, we're, we're happy with that win. And, and we know we didn't play our best. So to be able to squeak that one out, we can uh, we can look forward to the next one. Where do you guys seek improvements in the in the future there? What do you need to work on going forward? Uh, just precision of shots. I, there's a couple of my first rocks that the weight was a little off on, a little bit heavy, and just left them some opportunities. And then some hit and sticks that we had that we just weren't quite figuring out the line. Um, we would find a way to make half shots, which I think kept us in it. But we're going to have to be more precise than that if we're playing uh, teams who are playing really well. Uh, steals in two or steals of two and four and five really helped out the team. Can you walk us through those ends? Yeah, definitely uh, in the in the fourth. Um, we played a couple, uh, some really good shots and, and forced Sherry to a tough one on her last one. Um, so that was a good end. We got fortunate, obviously, in the third end. Uh, we were looking at maybe giving up a, probably a triple that end. Um, but uh, we were lucky on a, I made a hit and roll and got a little lucky on John's next one. And we were able to uh, get a good get a steal out of it when it looked like we were probably giving up some points. Feel to, you know, have the opportunity to be able to go to the Olympics together and just see how this event and mixed doubles has really come to its own in, in the curling scene. Yeah, it's it, the when we found out that mixed doubles was going to be a sport in the Olympics. I think us and the rest of the curling world are pretty excited that we had um, a second a second chance to go there, and obviously to do it together would be something pretty special. But um, that's still a long ways away. So if we don't, we still you know, we have a wedding in May. We have a lot of stuff kind of to look forward to. So I think that also gives us a bit of an advantage that we're going to be happy kind of no matter what happens here. So. You know, let's start with that. You two are obviously really good friends on and off the ice. Can you talk about that relationship and how important it is in this type of sport? I think the thing, the biggest thing with doubles is you just don't get that many opportunities to play. So if you don't have somebody that you already know pretty well that you can communicate with, it makes it that much harder because we haven't played an event together since August and nobody really has. So you got to try to pick somebody where you have that kind of rapport and the communication is a little easier. Can you talk a little bit about your rapport off the ice, Colin? Um, well, Charlie's my best friend, so we pretty much talk all the time. So uh, we watch all each other's games. So there's a pretty good scouting report on, on Chelsea. I get to watch for lots of the trials in the playoffs. So um, it's nice having a hot skip coming into this. Um, and yeah, it's, it's good to being able to know each other so well because we definitely need it out there during that game. Um, haven't played together for a while, so just getting back in the swing of things, used to each other's releases and um, grinded a little bit, but that's just uh, that's how it goes. And luckily, we're able to beat a really good team. Notching off that first win in any round robin or any event is super important. Can you talk about that today? Yeah, you want to get that goose egg off the board as quick as you can. And, and I'm sure you've got an interview clip of me saying exactly that in a number of other bonds uh, It But it is really important. It just feels, it just hangs over your head until it goes away so uh, you want the first day to at least come away with one win so you get that off of there and so that feels good and and to Colin's point I mean one of the best teams in the event so that's a bonus that third or three in the third really helped out can you walk us through that end there um well you just got to make the first shot and then once you make that shot you got to follow it up with getting the right angles and then uh, once you do that and you leave yourself a you know, a good chance at, at a multiple score. It happens a lot of times during a game and you have to capitalize every time or else the game it could slip away from you pretty quickly.